Hey there, fellow adventurers. Today I'm diving into an exciting build that was recommended to me by someone who wanted me to test this battle and share my thoughts. Little did I know that this build will leave me to uncover the captivating lore and thrilling gameplay of Remarkable Faction, so let's jump right into it. In a world plagued by the relentless march of civilization, where nature's balance teeters on the edge of extinction, a race of noble warriors emerges from the depths of the wilderness, born from the very essence of untamed power they are the Grove Guardians. These Grove Guardians, once feared for their brute force and ferocity, have embraced their ancestral connection to the natural world. No longer content with being pawns of darkness, they rise with a purpose, to restore harmony, to reclaim nature's rightful place. United under the banner of their roots, this newfound alliance empowers the Grove Guardians to transcend their savage reputation. They become prophetic swarmers, a force to be reckoned with, excelling not only in battle, but also as adept settlers and builders. With the wisdom gleaning from the ancient Tome of Beasts, the Grove Guardians forge a path guided by their unwavering conviction. Their once evil intentions are transformed into a noble cause, proclaiming nature's dominion, not through mindless destruction, but through knowledge, preservation, and unwavering resilience. They stand as guardians, the protectors of the wild, wielding their nature-born strength as a formidable weapon. No longer content with being adversaries, they have become the stewards of the land, the champions of harmony. The Grove Guardians, once feared and revealed, have found a new purpose, and their hearts burn the flame of righteous fury, a passion to bring things back to how they were supposed to be. In their hands lies the power to shape a future where nature thrives, where the wild reclaims its rightful place. This is their story, the saga of the Grove Guardians, the warriors who defy their origins to restore balance and reclaim the untamed. Now let's jump into the gameplay of the Grove Guardians here. So let us see what we got here. So we have a, um, the army of Chibi. I love this. So I named the Lord after the um, person that recommended the uh, recommended this faction here. So Chibi Evil was the one that recommended this faction. So let's get into it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna send our scout out to go grab uh, this mana stone right there. Hopefully there's no enemies there, and there is. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna have them go whatever direction. Our whole goal here is, from what Chibi said, is we want to. Um, we want to be evil and reclaim nature by force, so we're going to be very aggressive here. So what we're going to do is we're first going to grab our um, settlement here. We're going to grab the building right here. We're going to grab farm, and the reason why we're grabbing farm is because um, even, no matter what you put on here, it doesn't matter. And having a little bit more growth never hurt anybody. Okay, so what we're going to grab is workshop, vendor, then we're going to grab storehouse, shrine, and battle ritual site just so we have that all loaded up and ready to go reason why i do workshop is so that we have more um, unit production and more um building production to then make more income to then uh get some more farms or quicker to then have more mana to cast more spells to then have more knowledge to get new spells okay so our arcane research we're actually going to grab the wild speaker right away so we can start summoning beasts immediately and be aggressive in that matter we we'll see, do we have anything here yet? Nope. We're going to take the Lord here. We're going to attack this resource cart right there. And we're going to manually fight this battle just to, just to see how this faction plays. This is a really pretty map. Okay, so we got pack tactics and overwhelming tactics. So if we all stay together, we should be a lot stronger. We're going to move him here. We're gonna move this guy here. We're gonna take our Lord. We're gonna put him right here because he should be able to take some damage on the front. We're gonna move our spear throwers here, and then we're gonna have our uh, mages go here. We're gonna make sure to put all our um, buffs on for our group. Now we're gonna end our turn. Okay. Now we're gonna move forward here. I'm just gonna move these guys forward for now. We're going to move these guys forward as well, and then once we get into our new spot too, then we're going to cast our spells and everything. So I always like to cast my spells or throw my weapons before I attack with melee to weaken the enemy. What we're going to do is we're going to do exactly that, but first, it comes to strike and suffers three thunder defense. So what's their strongest unit? Um, right now, I don't want to spend any sp uh, spend uh, anything until we can, so we're actually going to get rid of the uh, spiders immediately. There we go. 
Now let's use our warrior here. Actually, no, we're gonna use our spellcaster. We're gonna do this so that we have invigorate. So that we can gain some healing and some strengthen, which I probably should have cast up before I did that, but it is what it is. So now we're gonna have our lord over channel strength. We're gonna use our lord to attack 1313. 13, the uh, eagles in the back here. Now we're gonna have our warriors. What does this do? No stun and defense mode up to use. We're gonna try to stun this enemy here. Perfect. We're gonna try to stun this enemy as well. Perfect. That buys us some time so we can attack them more. And then what we're gonna do with this last one is we're gonna sunder their defense. So if they do attack us, then they're gonna take a little bit more damage and we're gonna end our turn. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is get rid of these guys because we have flanking as a one tactic. Nice. So yeah, this one's recommended by Chibi Evil, and so far I'm liking it. I like the lore and the background story for it. It's really thematic. We're gonna use our magic on the spiders here. We're now going to set I me mean, we have a base 9% between two attacks of weekend. Okay, we're gonna weaken the enemies here with our lord. Then we gain strength. We're actually going to melee the spiders here, so we have um we have our uh war shamas protected. Now we're gonna take these warriors and we're actually going to finish this off. So that we only have to deal with one enemy. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure everything is good. And we're going to end our turn. Okay, so now we're going to take our throwing people. And we're going to throw our spears into the birds. Take our war shaman, we're gonna fire a blast into him. Now we're gonna get our warriors on the side to attack from the side. Perfect. Now we're gonna attack from this side. And now if they pretty much attack anything but a range unit, they're gonna take damage. We still have our lord, so hopefully we finish him off here. And boom, baby. We must reclaim nature. We must reclaim nature. We go battle one. What we're going to do is we're going to go back into our territory to rest up a little bit. We're now going to check to see if we can't make troops. Okay. And we're going to end our turn. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to check. We can annex another province. So we have a uh, gold mine here. And what we're going to do with the gold mine is we're going to build a quarry. There's a brigand camp over there. So that actually would be nice to go take that out. Get some extra resources. Now we're going to grab... That nah, should be fine. We're going to go take out this wolf to get some extra XP. Um, we're just going to auto combat this one. How much damage we take? Oh wow, okay, maybe we should have just fought it ourselves. Auto resolve is never a good thing. Our ruler did level up, and what we're gonna do is since we're supposed to be um, all about nature, is we're gonna grab pack leader. Perfect. Now our shop is complete, so let's grab. Oh, that's perfect, so we can grab uh, another Sunderer. So, what do we need? We need, we have two frontline units, we have a war shaman, so we need another, basically another archer. We're going to grab another sunderer. And we're going to now end our turn. We're going to have our scout go explore everywhere just to discover. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get back into our territory over here. So we can go attack that brigand camp. Let's actually check our tree here. So we do start out with uh, Chaos Affinity and Nature. 
There we go. Not too shabby. So I'm actually going to spend my um, annex here so that we can go grab or what's it called? Ethereum, uh, sorry. To go uh, grab a research post here. So we can move up forward and then heal up as we go forward to go attack the uh, bridging camp here. The reason why we want to attack this is we get another gold vein here. And then this also gives some nice loot when you take it out. And let's go check over here. Let's grab the um, communal hall. Because then we get the fur, uh, fury and then the war shaman. Which will be really nice. And we're going to now end our turn again. Let's move our um, leader up this way right here. One more turn and we should be able to get that. Founder of service and new founder of service city gains one population. We're not going to grab that right now just yet. We're going to grab the annex instead. Or we're going to annex a track population. And we're going to now... We're going to grab a... So this one can have a quarry, a forester. We're going to grab a forester here. Um, just because it's a pasture so we get extra food. So we might as well put something with wood on it. So now we have a good food production, good quarry production, and a draft we would like some more, but that's okay. We're going to grab the Ancestor Seer Hole so we can get more knowledge points. And then after that, we're going to grab the Mana Obelisk so we can grab more mana as well. We're now going to take the Lord, and we're actually going to just sit right here still. Heal up one more turn, which means we can grab this, so in two turns we can go attack that. We're going to end our turn. I'm going to move this over into our leader here. We're also going to grab another scout now. Ooh. We're going to grab another scout, and then uh, we're going to grab a wild speaker. We're now going to grab this over here, and we're going to grab a mine so we can get some more gold. We met a free city, so what we're going to do is give it with Springstone. But since we're going to be reclaim everything with nature, um, we're most likely going to be evil and just attack it. That is what um, should be evil said to do with this, is just attack. Be evil. We're going to go attack the um, brigand camp next turn. Check this over here. So we got shrine. Perfect. End turn. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the blacksmith to get our draft up. So when we recruit these better units. If we get them running out the gate, we're going to send them to go run around. New Empire skill is developed. We're going to grab the uh, infestation grants your unit based on the infestation. Just so we can get another unit for clearing this out. Now we got another scout there. We got a scout over there. Perfect. We're going to have our leader go attack the brigand camp here. And it's a generally safe battle. We're going to fight the battle because it's pretty fun. To look at the theatrics and thematics of um, and cinematics of fighting here even though it is like a, you're gonna win but honestly i like fighting every battle just because you take the least amount of casualties for the next battle coming ahead okay we're gonna move our one warrior here and then we're gonna move the other warrior here and we're gonna try to stick together because of the pack tactics like stuff move this one here and then we're gonna move this one here we're going to move our Lord right here, and then we're going to move our Shamans right here. We're going to give a buff. Buff. Defense. 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 And defense. And then end our turn here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is do the same thing. We're going to buff everybody up. But this time we're going to do this, so that when they attack next turn... We have strengthened and we uh, have regeneration. Sap strength, so we're gonna sap their strength right here. Now they have sap strength. Now we're gonna uh, defense up, defense up, and we're going to now end our turn. Dang, that hit for really strong. Holy cow. That's absolutely nuts. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take our spears. We're going to throw at this one here. We're trying to weaken each unit as much as possible. We're also going to 
grab four shaman and we're going to shoot these ones back here. We're gonna try to do as much percent as possible um, when we attack and try to weaken everything as we go here. So that's 90%, that's 90%. We're gonna shoot this one. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna stun these guys here. Perfect, and we're gonna stun these guys here so they can't damage us next turn, so we basically got a free turn of damage. And the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to shoot the one in the back to try to weaken that one down. Perfect. And we're also gonna use this on the one in the back as well so we can sunder their defense. And basically, so these ones are stunned and that one's now stunned, so even if they do fly back, they're not gonna do as much damage. Unless they just fly completely over, apparently. <laughs> We're gonna have um, him stab the uh, stab the birds back here. Oh my god, 29 damage, that's crazy. We're gonna have the uh, spearman here take care of him by flanking. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is have these spearmen shoot over here to weaken these so our front units don't take as much damage. We're also going to shoot, uh, if I go here, 90%. Yep, we're going to move over here. Hit them with that 90% with Overwhelm Tactics. Perfect. Now we're going to finish this one off and then we only have one more enemy left. Which is right here. The retaliation isn't that bad. We're going to attack. Sometimes if the retaliation is too high, I don't like to attack. I like to play a little bit more defensive, and we're going to end our turn. So far, I'm really enjoying this faction, and I'm loving the lore behind it, because I'm a huge, huge nature fan when it comes to nature and reclaiming and <laughs> stuff like that. Wood Elves are actually usually my favorite race in most fantasy. Boom, baby. We hit it for more than what we were supposed to, too. Overwhelming tactics. And close. We didn't take too much damage. We got a Thunderbird mount. Okay, that is freaking sick. Take reward. We also got a um, bird to join our cause. We're going to have them scout for us. And what we're going to do here now is we're going to... Um, check our civilization here we're gonna grab so city stability is neutral we're gonna grab granary so we can keep expanding perfect we're gonna bring our shaman back over here our leader for druid i don't know if he if he wants them to be like druids or shamans but i mean at the same time i mean it's nature reclaiming so same thing and we're gonna end our turn We're gonna check out this Forest of Reflection. Excess will help you through the famine. No, I have nothing to spare. No, because we're trying to be we're trying to be aggressive here, so we have nothing to spare for people. Nature is ours to command. We, we're not gonna give people food. No, that's not what we're, that's not what we're doing here. Okay, if we attack them, that's a low risk battle, but that's that's actually gonna be a pretty tough battle. We're gonna um. We're gonna heal up one turn before we attack that, or we can wait for the wild ship so we can get our wild speaker so we can get some summons going. So we are going to um, end our turn. Perfect. Wind barrier ring. Oh hell yeah! Boom. Rope the resilience. Oh yeah, we could take our staff off here. The problem with taking our staff off is I don't know on equip. What will it give? Yeah, it'll just give us a sword and shield. But look at that thunderbird mount. That's cool as heck. We're like, <laughs> thunder, <laughs> lightning, earth. <laughs> no, we're going to go back to the staff. Okay. We're going to send this scout to do scout things. And we're going to go back to our main leader here. How many turns until the wild speaker's done? Uh, two turns. We're going to grab another annex population, and we're actually going to grab... Um, let's see here. Where is their special province building? Let's see, food. 
we're gonna grab the uh probably the fishery here so we can get a harbor going and that should help us um produce more villagers so we can get more land and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go towards the uh flower over here do that battle next turn and end our turn Okay, we have animal kinship now, so minor race transformation makes the target race more bestial and connected to animals. When adjacent to friendly animal cavalry units, they're granted 10 plus damage, uh, 10 plus increased critical chance. So this kind of makes me want to go onto the white wolf that we got earlier, since it would be really good for us. We're going to do summon wild animal as well, uh, so we can get that. Oh, we met somebody. Okay. We're gonna do the animal kinship so we can become more animal-like. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we need some more of this right here. And then we're gonna be getting a uh, wild speaker and then we have the war shaman. The wild speaker, I kind of want um, our range to be spellcasters or rangers, but since they're orcs, yeah, we're gonna do that. So let's just go auto this one. Since we're gonna have better units next turn anyway. Let's go back this way. We really leveled up. Heck yeah. So Primal Mark will give us first melee attack that hits in a battle deals additional. We're not meleeing. Yes, we're gonna, uh, when this unit kills. Ooh, okay, that would actually not be bad since we're going to be standing in the back for the most part. Uh, defensive training while well, army leader units in army game. Okay, that's actually really nice because then our units are stronger in battle, which will be really helpful for us for being aggressive. Now we're going to attract population here. We're going to grab uh, right here. We can either grab this or mana stone. We're going to grab the conduit. Ooh, we got the rainbow clover too. Oh, heck yeah. It makes people like us, <laughs> but we're trying to be aggressive. Kind of funny. Okay, we're actually going to head towards the force of reflection um, after we heal up and see if we can actually do that. We have two wild speakers being made for battle here, and we're gonna be doing the beast of transformation soon here. Perfect, we're gonna send this over to our army over here. We're gonna send him right here to get ready for the um, area that we're gonna be attacking next. Negotiation succeeded, that's cool. We're gonna be attacking you, or we'll just take you over. We'll just reclaim it from nature. We gotta be as evil as possible because we have to reclaim nature. So we got two wild speakers being made, so we'll have two wild speakers instead of these guys, which will be good in my book, because I don't really care for the uh, Sunderer units. End turn. Uh, we met another person, so goodbye. They don't like us either. Oh. End turn. For some reason it did that. Okay. So now we met another one. I will help you achieve your bloody ambitions. So we are supposed to be evil... So we're going to actually take this, because we're supposed to be requiring nature, and we're supposed to be evil. So here we go, we're evil. We met another person, my goodness. There's just, everyone's really close by, apparently. So animal kids ship, we're going to do, um, turn into animals now. Gain plus 10% damage, so we're going to want to get more cavalry and animal units. So having more wild speakers is going to be important into the army, and then replacing our um, frontline units with cavalry. We're gonna transform into animal kinship. Yeah, look at us. We have like hair and stuff now. We're beastie. We're beastie. New Empire skills available. Cool. New Empire skills available. Okay, so they're right here. So we actually we're gonna go take out um Silver Bridge next. After we take out Borton. We're gonna head over here. We're gonna have the uh javelin javelin unit go over here. We're gonna have the wild speaker take control here. And how many turns until we get the next wild speaker here? This is actually pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty fun. So we do have uh Fury Grove Guardians. Uh, we're actually gonna grab um You know what? I think that would be kind of fun. Having like no frontline units, but just have pack tactics with all our units together. Mm, it might not be a good idea not to have frontline units, but they actually these guys can summon units. So our frontline units would be our summons. So that actually wouldn't be too bad of an idea. I like that. Okay. Okay. 
So we're going to use those as our frontline units. Um, Chibi didn't really exactly say how to play the faction, except for being evil and reclaiming nature by force. So that's what we're kind of going off of. Um, we're going to do uh, Primal Mark. I was insulted. That's cool. We're going to grab the... Uh, what do we need right now? So we need more daft. So we need to get another forester. So for now, what we're going to do is just leave this how it is. Um, just, just how it is. We don't need to spend anything there. Let's go check this. So we can unit tier 1 units cost minus 30% upgrade, which would be nice. Intergenerate additional regeneration get five food yeah we're gonna do the five food we gotta we gotta re start reclaiming nature here baby so now we get even more food we're gonna move them up here to protect our territory uh we're gonna see if we can actually take the forest of reflection immediately just to get that buff but if not that's fine we'll have to just wait for the better units and we can summon a animal spirit so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna summon a wild animal. Let's see what we get. It looks like we got a dread spider. Oh. So now let's grab our wild speaker. So now we got another one of these bad boys. So we're gonna take this. Actually, we're gonna have this go back over here first before we um before we do that. So then we can have that. Arrival was declared on me. That's fine. Now we're going to, um, orders required. We're going to have you sit right there and turn. Uh, and turn. That's fine. We're just going to be sitting there. We're going to have her move onto this army here so we have multiple armies. Then we have this wild speaker move onto him over there. We won't be able to do anything for a little bit, though. Probably declared on me. Okay. Now we're going to leave that the way it is. We're going to summon another wild animal, um, probably soon here actually gonna do this we'll will we be able to take this out with this army it says high risk battle so no this is not a very strong army it looks like he's coming straight for us if we take him out then we can go siege their city and my goodness she is right there too everyone's super close to each other that's kind of crazy okay so we're going to um just stay right here and end our turn we're gonna have our wild speaker go into him now Oh, it looks like we still have to wait one more turn. We do now have our Fury Warriors, so we're actually going to put them over here as well. That is pretty cool. Rogue Guardians, Enabling Howl, Shoot Bow. I really like that. I like that we have, like, cavalry um, archers. Okay. So it looks like we'll be able to vassalize them and get another city, so we can use that as a staging point for Silver Bridge here. Because we're going to reclaim this for nature. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we are going to check our uh, thing right here. We can now gain cost 30% uh, less upkeep and then founding or absorbing cities takes uh, minus two turns, which will be nice. There we go. And now we still have enough left over to grab more land here. So we're going to grab another forester. Nice. So now we can actually grab in here. We can grab the armory so we can start pumping up more troops. And then we're going to grab this once this is done. So let's see here, end our turn, I'm going to move this in here, negotiation succeeded, yay, we're supposed to be evil, we are evil, now we're going to grab uh, this right here, the reason being is then we get, uh, gain more gold and prov province annex range, which will be nice, they're putting outposts right there, so they kind of have to die, now. yeah, no, I don't like that. Yeah, no, I don't like that at all. So let's see if we can even take this over. Let's see. Use magic fortified troop against the mirror. Ooh, yeah, this is going to be pretty tough. Um, we'll lose 185 mana. Let's try it. Let's see. So that's actually going to be a lot tougher than what we can handle at the moment with these guys right here. Um, what we could do is we do have Wild Speaker, so we can get more units, but that's going to be a little bit too hard for us right now. So we're actually going to uh, back off for now and focus on taking out this outpost. So 
So, grab another warrior and another warrior. So we have a little bit more armies. Orders required. You stay right there and turn. We're going to go reclaim our land. They're building settlements. We can't let them do that. It's not what we're all about here. Select new research. So I was told for the next tome that it should be either Roots or Horde. So we're going to go with the um, probably Horde next. Um, or, nah, I think we're actually gonna go root. I, I would like to be more, like, on the nature side. Oh, over here. Blaze of Horde. Yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go nature side. So we're gonna go, uh, Tome of Roots and then buff our tier one units. To unravel the secrets we're gonna grab the, uh, Poison Blades. Take our Lord and we're gonna move him over here. We have them chill right there. Check out our city. So we're going to get that next. We're going to use our 130 points here to grab the natural recovery. And we're going to end our turn. Okay. So it looks like uh, no need to pack. I'll take care of the watchers. Race for leisure. Yeah, we definitely want to do that. Um, take. Oh, dang. Okay, so they're right there. Risky battle. Okay, so we're going to bring both of our armies to go take this out. Now I produce another Fury as well, so we can get this into this army here. I kind of want to get a, before this is done, I want to get a Wild Speaker, another Wild Speaker. And then a Warrior. There we go. Because what we can do is then um, take out the, well, the War Shaman I want to keep there. But if we get the Furies in there, then we will have the Frontline Units with the Animals. So yeah, we can just do that. So I want to get the, um... Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Um, hold on, let me click on him. Low risk battle. Yeah, let's do it. Order your starting troops to attack. Auto combat. Nice. We didn't lose anything either. The Victory of Grove Gardens are true warriors. Finish production. A blacksmith you can encounter so we're gonna grab the um, Imperium I mean reason being is so then we can um, grab more stuff later on here like seafaring uh, digging or something along this line because I'm pretty sure we're two turns away from grabbing that wolf which is gonna be amazing to have we're gonna keep them right here we're gonna move them right here perfect we're gonna enchant our troops Okay, we're gonna bring our leader up this way and we're gonna go start heading towards Greenhold. Okay, we're gonna have the warriors come out of this army. We're gonna have the Furies go into this army here. Perfect. And then actually what we need to do is um they said pack tactics, so if it's pack tactics, I think the best thing to do would be to put our lord on an actual mount with the uh, white wolf since it's a special um, building. The only thing is I don't care for the sword and shield, but it is what it is. Um, this is what we're going to do for the terms of what Kibi kind of does with the pack deck. So we'll be good. We'll be like a tanky druid in the front. The primal mark is ready so we can give the spiders primal mark here. Not too shabby. We can summon another wild animal. A new rally has started, which we don't want any of those units. And let's see here. We definitely want to go take out Greenhold. I'm gonna put these units in here. And if even if we don't, um, yeah, that actually should work. Now let's grab. Okay, so this is food there. Oh. It gives me plus, oh yeah, it gives me plus five food for any um, farm. The farms right now actually would be really nice to have. Put the farm there. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna end our turn. Okay, we're gonna do poison blades. We're gonna do call the wild. We had a new development, so we're going to grab that wolf uh, next turn. 
the wild speaker is now done, so we can bring the wild speaker into our main army here. Um, which actually, I think we could just do this. Perfect. Um, we can have now we can move forward and get ready to attack. Let's grab the uh, Shrine of the War God. Grants War God's reach to every friend of the inside the domain. War God decision. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I actually like that. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, we're going to grab Shrine of the War God. It's actually really, really cool. Uh, then we're going to grab Poison Blades for our units. And then we're going to probably grab Poison Archers as well. And then we're going to end our turn. Engage. Okay. There's too many civilizations. We gotta wipe them all out. Too many. Okay. We're gonna move our white wolf here. We're gonna move our four speaker here. We're now gonna move our extra warrior here. Miller was denounced. Poison blades. Let's go, baby. Enhance. I don't know why we have a human unit in the front, but whatever. Don't know where that came from. The Empire skills. We're definitely. We either gonna grab this. Or we're gonna. We're gonna grab the Guardian Spirit. That's gonna be really strong for us. Put that into the Warrior. Next turn we'll be able to put that into the Warrior as well. My army's trespassing. That's fine. Um, we're gonna grab another. Um, how many units do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. And now we have perfect. I'm gonna put this unit in here. We have seven turns till we get another um sieve there. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go right up on the border right here. We're not going to attack this turn. We're going to hold off. What we're going to do now is... Yeah, that's it. End turn. Wow, we're moving faster than the AI on some of these. Uh, I swear to destroy the fire creatures that threatens the forest. Oh yeah, we definitely need to... Okay, we definitely need to destroy the fire creatures that are threatening our forest. Oh, hell no. Okay, so let's go here. Call the wild. Let's grab the um, healing root so we have a healing spell in battle. That's what we're missing. Now let's grab attract population. And we're going to grab a um, another farm over here. Perfect. We're going to have these guys move forward here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we have that there, we have this there. What we're going to do is we're going to use our lord and attack the city. And because we're just trying to reclaim all cities for nature, it doesn't matter if we go evil. It's all about becoming one with nature. Add siege projectiles. So we're going to grab, um, since, we, since we're all about nature, we're not going to gra grab that. But we're going to grab harass defenders. What we're going to do is grab uh, undermine the wall. I think... Yeah, we're going to undermine the walls. Two turns till that's done. Alignment change to evil, I know. Okay. Now let's grab onto here. So they're almost about to become my vassal anyway. So we'll grab a second city pretty soon here. Okay. So now we have orders for um, this guy right here. We're actually going to go help the siege first because we have 19 turns to take out those fire troops. So we got time. Bell's ready to cast. We can summon another animal to help, but we're not going to. We're going to check um, Axe Tusk here. So we have a few more troops that we can get into the battlefield as well. And we're going to other lures start of the world. Nice. End turn. We got to reclaim everything in the name of... Um, nature okay let's grab healing roots select new research we're gonna grab poison arrows now i was insulted that's fine we made the breach 
We produced another um, one of these guys. Perfect. Grab that real quick. I wouldn't even fare against this. Risky battle. Yeah, I kind of figured that. We're going to attack the battle. And we're going to play it. Because nature doesn't auto-resolve. Okay, we are now into the battle. We have busted holes in the wall here. Look at that. Boom, baby. Nature will prevail! For the nature! Oh my goodness. Okay, um... I feel bad about this, but we're gonna do this real quick, and our bowmen are gonna absolutely wreck them. Yeah, these bowmen hit really hard. My goodness. Pack Tactics is amazing. Oh, they missed, though. Uh, regardless, that was pretty... pretty dope. Move right here. Throw our spears. Oh, I guess they're mailing. That's fine. Oh, that looks like it did a lot of damage, though. So we're gonna have, um... Yeah, let's shoot our bows. Ooh, perfect. Perfect. That did some good damage. What we're gonna do now is... Mm, now we're gonna hold off. We're gonna shoot them with our magic. We're gonna have more beasts being summoned. This is absolutely deadly, just having, like, multiple things being summoned. We're gonna summon more beasts. We're gonna bring our guards to the battlefield over here. Bring the spiders that we had over here as well. This is nature's, uh, wrath coming up on the enemy here. Okay, it looks like they're getting in position. They're shooting our hybrid unit there, so it's not the end of the world. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use healing roots on this uh, unit right here. Boom, baby. We're going to have our lord... Um, actually, let's see here. We're going to have our spiders go grab the uh, archers back there. Perfect. We're gonna bog them down. We're now gonna use, um... Oh, I forgot to empower my animals first. Let's empower these birds here. Release the beast! Okay, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna run up and stun it. Heck yeah. Now that they're stunned, we can melee strike them without worry. Perfect. Now we're going to do is come around the backside here and hit them in the back. Now let's have our um, archers here move to here. We should finish off their archers first. These art, uh, um, wolf archers are super strong. Like, look at that. They're just absolutely, like, wrecking machines. And then they did more damage than what they were supposed to. That's awesome. Oh, they just, he just teleported over here. That's really weird. I don't know what that was, but whatever. We'll kill him again. It's fine. Perfect. Now we're gonna do is charge into the spearmen in the back with our wolf. Oh heck yeah! Good job, Chibi. Good job. Victory is ours. Now that we got this city, we're gonna raise it to the ground because you know what? Only we can have nature cities. No one else can have cities here. They also have a city way down here. Are you kidding me? That's fine. 
In fact, let's see what gear he has here. He has a ring of escape. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna sell his remains so we can uh, we can get that ring of escape on ourselves. We're gonna put on our chibi evil here. We're gonna grab a um, we're gonna grab a spirit orb because we're gonna use the spirits of nature here. You know, I actually like this better. The not getting hit by ranged and melee attacks is easy. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to send um, this unit south. To go deal with um, Harpenton down there. And then we're going to have um, this also go deal with Harpenton. And we're going to hold the fort here. Perfect. We're going to check real quick here. We're going to grab the gain gold per unit killed, which is going to be really nice for us. And what we're going to do now is end our turn. Okay, we're going to grab our horse, or <laughs> our horse, our wolf right there. We're going to have them auto-explore again. And it looks like that was it. We're going to end turn because it didn't end our turn properly. Order required. Okay, now can I end my turn? Auto okay, so I can't auto explore, that's why. Okay, cool. Good to know. There we go, now I can end my turn. Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna move this army forward. Harping's in here. I don't know why they built the city there, it's just a silly idea, but we're gonna move this sword too. We now are gonna have our scout um, go into this army. We're going to go towards the city because they're going to get attacked. And that is A-OK. -okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the um, shipyard so we can get more income. And the archer uh, battlements. Yep, I already knew that was, that was going to happen, so we're going to auto-resolve that. We can't win that one. We're going to keep our lord right here. We're going to have our scout come help over here. So we can raise the city to the ground. We're gonna have this one go attack there with this one here. And turn. Perfect. We're gonna go over here now. So they have an army of four here, so we definitely need both armies here. Um, can I summon another animal? I cannot. Um, okay. We're gonna grab Free city can be integrated. So we're gonna integrate. We're gonna save up 250 so we can integrate them. We're gonna move this wolf here to help back us up. We're gonna keep him here. We're gonna have this war shaman um, head up here. Go back up for if we have any armies we have to deal with up here. Now the next thing we're gonna make is wow we can produce units in like one turn. We're gonna produce a few warriors here some Sunderers. Oops. Perfect. And turn. Combat, we should be fine. Perfect. We're gonna move. Oh. Uh. Okay. Uh, retreat. Get over here, bud. I need you. There we go. Now we should win. Perfect, and we only lost one unit. Now we're going to raise this one to the ground as well. There will be no cities here. It's all nature, baby. All nature. Now we're going to grab the Tome of the Glade so we can get the uh, Glade Runner. We shall there restore the, this the realm to its former glory. Might in the branch of the U. Perfect. It looks like um, they produced all our warriors for us. So we're gonna go put that in the war shamans area here. I'm gonna grab this and put them over here. These units can now um, take out the uh, monster den here.
We got the green. Oh, we got a take reward. Nice. We got a wild speaker, which is perfect for us because that's exactly what we we are using. Let's head back to Greenhold here, and we're gonna go wipe out our first enemy. I'm pretty sure we can take out Silver Bridge no problem at this point, point. and we end our turn. I just want to give a special shout out to Chibi Evil for this amazing faction playthrough. I've been having so much fun with this so far, and stay tuned for next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more.